just saw 60 Minutes last night, then you know our next guest. 13-year-old Rex Lewis Clack is an incredible musician. His mother, Kathleen, has written a book called Rex, a mother, her autistic child, and the music that transformed their lives. And Rex and Kathleen are with us live in the studio. Good morning. Good morning. So great to have you here. Yeah. I got this book a week or so ago, and I started yeah. reading it, and I could not put it down. Oh, that's wonderful to hear. Well, <laughs> I thought I was the only one doing that. <laughs> well, it's, it's, your, your storytelling is so good, but it's such a remarkable story as well. You're, it starts with you being pregnant with Rex. You find out some of the things that are wrong. And in the early days after he was born, what did people say was going to happen with this young man? Well, there wasn't a lot of hope. First of all, they, we found out he was blind, but then with all the, the brain issues, we, the, the prognosis was very, very bad. Yeah, because he had an um, enormous cyst in his brain when he was born. Exactly. Hydrocephaly, of just a, one bad mm. piece of bad news after another piece of bad news after another one, yeah. E exactly, and everything looked pretty dire, didn't it, Rex? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that was, uh, it was very, very hard times and uh, um, very emotional times, uh, uh, and things didn't look good at all. There's a story where you're in the, in the special school in Southern California, and they basically say, we don't know if we can actually keep him here anymore. Because he wasn't walking and he couldn't speak, they thought that he would be nonverbal. Well, he was nonverbal right. and he wasn't walking and yeah. they didn't have enough staff to perhaps help out with that. So, yeah, uh, yeah everything looked very, very bad right. and it was just all I could do to sort of to not Hang fall on. apart. Yeah, day to day to day That's until exactly. one day a little electric piano appears in the house. And what happens <laughs> after that? Well, a miracle. <laughs> it was like Rex was transported to another world. Yeah. He, there was something in the keys that, that touched him. Even when he was exhausted, <laughs> right? Yeah, it was like he found life in that. It was like a lifeline mm -hmm. because he wasn't interested in anything else. He was so sensitive to sounds and to touch yeah. due to what they were calling autism. Right which I didn't want to believe back then, didn't yeah. really know what it was. but uh, yeah. So he didn't want to touch anything else except yeah. those keys. Hey, Rex, how are you doing today? <laughs> I'm down here by you. I decided to come hey, down. Hey, my mom remembers different sounds like light switches, doors closing, running water that made me feel crazy. Wait, I, yeah, that's what your mom writes about in the book. And then all of a sudden music comes into your life. You'd like to play music? Yeah. Yeah. Is there some kind of music you like to play more than other kinds? Uh-huh. Yeah, like? I don't know. No. Classical. Well, classical. Well, classical. how about a little Beethoven? Can we get a little Beethoven this morning? Class yeah. Classical's always classical. good. Yeah. yeah, one of the things that, Rex, you've, you've learned to do, in addition to playing amazing classical music and all sorts of other music, is, is take a song by a composer like Beethoven and then mix it up, okay. improvise off it in different styles because well, your brain is really pretty flexible. Let's give that a try. Let's. Um, you try, try. I what? love music, so I'm really happy to listen. So, what would you like to start out with? A just a piece of Beethoven, maybe. I like to play our Beethoven's Fair Elise. Okay. Oh, love it. Just a little bit, though, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. And then change the style. Okay. So here's the original. I think I'm as happy as you are. <laughs> that sounds so beautiful, so beautiful. So would you, would you can play it in a different style though too? Yeah. Yeah, let's hear that. What would you like to do? What, what kind of style? I like to play it like a tango. We need a Beethoven tango this morning, please. <laughs> a tango? Yeah, a tango. <laughs> that's sneaky. <laughs> sneaky. Well, yeah, you're a teenager too, so I guess that's the name of the game, huh? Let's hear it. <laughs> That's par for the course. Right, <laughs> sneaky teenager. All right.
<laughs> Rex, uh-huh. Kathleen, thank you so much for joining us. Really, really so appreciated. The name of the book is Rex. 